Is learning the English language your toughest challenge yet? Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials. Mary, how was your date with John? It's okay. It seems we have a lot in common. Oh, really? That is great news. What does he look like? He is tall and slim, fair-haired. Sounds like he is pretty cute. What do you think of him? He is a nice guy and very considerate. I was impressed with how smart he was and he has a great sense of humor. Oh, it's love at first sight. When will you see each other again? He didn't say, but he said he would call me. Maybe he is busy with his work. Just wait and try not to think about it too much. Oh, Steve, stop it. I am a bit nervous. What if he doesn't call? Come on, Mary, you're a total catch. I bet he will call you. Don't worry. Thank you, Steve. You're always so encouraging. That's what friends are for. They are professors and government officials. Where are they from? Most of them are from America and Europe. What are they doing in Beijing? They are attending an international conference here. Which hotel are they staying at? They are staying at the Hilton Hotel. What are you reading? It's an article about language. It talks about the idea of having a single global language. It seems that English already is the main global language. Does the article suggest that there should be an artificial language like Esperanto as the world language? Actually, it suggests English. The main argument is that English is already being studied as a second language in most countries China, India, Mexico, Nigeria, Pakistan, and Japan. So beginning again with a language like Esperanto would be wasteful. The second argument is that English is used in modern technology far more than any other language. Most emails are sent in English and the vast majority of websites use English. Does the article say anything about other language? How will they survive in an English-speaking world? The article points out that many languages have been lost and will be lost, but others will continue to be used for generation, even if English continues to be the dominant language. Right. All the people who speak Chinese, Hindi, French and Spanish aren't suddenly going to stop using those languages. Exactly. The article suggests that those languages will be used, but that they will only rarely be used in international communication between non-native speakers. In that case, I shall continue to learning a few basic phrases in other languages. I feel confused by all the diet options out there. I don't know which one actually works. Most of them are not so practical. It will be very bad for your health if you skip lunches or supers as the recommended. I think making an exercise plan can be more effective. Maybe you're right. It is very expensive to go to a weight loss center. I'd better join in a fitness club. You don't need to lose weight. You are not fat. I bought an exercise dress yesterday and I found it was hard to dress it up. Harry, do you like the opera? No, not really. Why is that? It is called real art. Well, it's very expensive and they're usually singing in another language. That kind of gets on my nerves. Yeah, that makes sense.
Hi, Nicole. Did you have a good weekend? Yes, I did. But I feel tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday I cleaned the house and played tennis. Then on Sunday I hiked in the country. And I bet you studied, too. Yeah, I studied on Sunday evening. What about you? Well, I didn't clean the house and I didn't study. I stayed in bed and watched TV. That sounds like fun, but did you exercise? Sort of. I played golf on my computer. Susan, I am inviting you and Frank to our housewarming party this weekend. A housewarming party? Yes. Deborah and I are going to buy a new home in Woodlawn. Congratulations. That's wonderful. I bet both of you are quite happy. Well, we have always dreamed of owning our own home, but real estate in this area is extremely expensive. I understand. That's why Christopher and I want to find a place in a small town, far from the city. That's a good idea if you can find employment nearby. I agree. That's why Christopher is already looking for a job in Maine or Wisconsin. Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials.